10 older cars that still look current. When you see an older car on the street, it'll occasionally hit you how current it looks in a sea of modern machinery. In fact, people who aren't really into cars would swear that they were brand new. So with that in mind, here are 10 pre-2000 cars that would still look legit in a new car showroom. Ferrari 360. The replacement for the F355, the 360 is one of the most elegant and Ferrari-looking Ferraris of recent times. The supercar's all-aluminium space frame chassis made it 40% stiff and 28% lighter than the old 355, and as for the looks, I mean, let's just take a second here, because it really is a timeless thing of beauty with elegant intakes and a face you'd love to wake up to. Power came courtesy of a 3.6 litre V8 with around 400 horsepower and an 8,700 RPM redline. Alfa Romeo GTV. The GTV was always going to make this list of older cars that look current, and for two good reasons. Like the Ferrari 360, it was designed by Pininfarina, meaning it oozes sex appeal and beauty, and because it's low slung front and chopped cam tail rear end were designed to improve aerodynamics. And as we all know, aero never gets old. Not only did the GTV look good however, it also featured one of the greatest six cylinder engines ever, the Busso V6, that sounded incredible and looked pornographic. BMW Z8. The Z8 was a limited run high end sports car produced between 1999 and 2003, and was designed by a man whose name you'll probably recognise, Henrik Fisker, as in the guy who made the Fisker car itself an oldish design that looks like it was sketched yesterday. Anyway, the Z8 was designed as a modern day 507, and featured curves and muscularity in equal measure. The narrow rear lights and rounded rear end look space age even now, making the Z8 modern enough to be sold as new today. Bentley Arnage Like many of today's Bentleys, the Arnage was a planet sized luxury yacht for the road that was produced between 1998 and 2006. Not only was it a new design since the 1980s, it also featured featured new firepower under the bonnet, thanks to a 4.4 litre BMW V8. Aesthetically, the Arnage still fits in with today's models like the Flying Spur, thanks to its sophisticated understatement and elegant lines. Honda S2000 If you were to sit a 1999 Honda S2000 next to a brand new Toyota GT86 and take any identifying number plates off, I'd bet a lot of people would struggle to figure out which car was newer, let alone correctly guess that the S2000 was now old enough to buy and consume consume alcohol. The S2000 still looks bang up to date with its clean lines. It has the ability to make any car lover turn their head in admiration and looks just as good, if not better, than many of today's sports cars. Jaguar XJ220 Design doesn't get much sleeker than the Jaguar XJ220, whose gorgeous lines were penned for aerodynamics. And like I said, aero never gets old. The XJ220 was produced between 1992 and 1994, and was a one-time record-breaking supercar for top speed, clocking 212.3 miles an hour. The XJ220 was also one of the first production cars to use underbody airflow and the Venturi effect to generate downforce, and is one of those cars that, if you could erase it from history and re-upload it in today's world, would still fit in pretty nicely. Jaguar XK8 Sticking with the Jaguar theme, it's amazing to think that the XK is now 21, making it old enough to have shared the streets with brand new, but now massively dated E36 M3s. Jaguar's Grand Tourer, like the DB7, featured smooth and sensual lines, and the later 2000 model supercharged R's gained more aggressive styling, including bigger wheels and brakes to give it the kind of road presence we're used to seeing with today's Grand Tourers. Aston Martin DB7 Ian Callum, the bloke we have to thank for cars like the beautiful Jaguar F-Type, Volvo C70, Ford Escort Cosworth, plus many more, is also responsible for designing the timeless Aston Martin DB7. It was produced between 1994 and 2000, 2004, and topped a load of most beautiful car in the world polls thanks to its slender body, sleek face, and design language that influenced the DB9. Mazda RX-7 Possibly one of the most beautiful cars ever made, the third generation RX-7 was somehow both timeless and very much of its day. Pop-up headlights are the biggest giveaway of the RX-7 age, it's now 25 can you believe, but it's the lines and proportions that make it look far younger than it is. Various pedestrian safety regulations mean that you couldn't duplicate 
replicate the exact design today, but it still looks so drawing board fresh. Toyota Celica. The seventh and final iteration of the Celica that was produced between 1999 and 2006 is another car you could sit next to the GT86 and fool people into thinking they were both roughly the same age. Because the Celica was designed to bring younger people back to the brand, the car's design features were pretty striking, including the large triangular headlights, bonnet scoop and deep belt lines running up each side. What other older cars can you think of that fit right in with today's models? Let us know in the comments, and if you like this video, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Bose Suspension Bose, the company that designs and sells audio equipment, came up with an incredible electromagnetic suspension technology that kept the car perfectly level, almost as if it were flying above the ground, no matter the road surface. It was a breakthrough in car comfort 